So good morning and welcome to the 2014 EOS Annual Conference. The theme which is Energy, Future Skills, Challenges. All right, look, it would be remiss of me if I did not mention the elephant in the room. The federal government's announcement to tender out the administration and the development of national training packages. The concerns we have are that the deregulation of national training packages is completely contrary to a system of universal occupational standards. It's essential that the national training packages are administered by an independent, not-for-profit and government-recognised entity such as an Industry Skills Council. No different to that of a standards, standards, current Standards Australia. If the custodianship of national training packages were to be dis distributed to disparate groups, Australia would have lost a standardised VET system that is now the envy of the world. The only opportunity to retain the status quo is that the Industry Skills, <coughs> excuse me, the Industry Skills Councils have been invited to tender as well. It is absolutely critical that we receive EOS's call for industry support for its tender submission. Despite this longer term uncertainty, EOS continues to work of migrating all the units to the new streamlined templates. <clears throat> Our technical advisory network already have this task well underway. The major changes are ensuring that units align with Australian quality framework descriptors, clarifying the regulatory requirements for evidence and assessments, and the inclusion of foundation skills in the Australian core skills framework. Please make sure you jump on the EOS forums to have your input and come along to the training advisory committee sessions. In terms of programs, we have provided over the year specialist advice for the Indian government in establishing VET systems on behalf of the Australian government, assisting electoral regulators in reviewing the 66 essential performance capabilities and the 32 critical aspects review, the development of working with asbestos units, providing recognition of RTOs through the EOS Pink Slip Program, energy skill migration, providing the offshore technical skills records. And one of the major EOS undertakings is the Energize Oz pilot, changing the culture of electrical training, trialling alternative competency-based program quality assurance mechanisms. And at the end of the recruitment phase, we had 1,585 apprentices involved in participating in the pilot program, 931 employers and approximately 60 RTO campuses. Also program supporting the RTOs, robust verification of on-the-job progression, providing online learning resources, provision of assessment on demand, assessment that were nationally validated on question banks and unit coverage, instantaneous marking input from regulators and help teachers to manage the varied progression of their trainees. Looking forward, during this time, winds of change, there are also many opportunities for EOS. Providing online learning management system facilities. In fact, EOS is looking to provide a complete vertically integrated system in supporting the delivery of national training packages into the future. In conclusion, <coughs> excuse me, in, in conclusion, <coughs> excuse me, um, I want to thank the sponsors that make these events possible. Our platinum sponsors, Careers Australia, Homes Glen, Master Electricians Australia, NECA, the National Electrical and Communications Association. Our gold sponsor, NECA. 
silver sponsor, e-profiling, bronze sponsors in alphabetical order, and Zeta, Combined Skills Training Association, Electro Technology and Energy Advisory Board, Energy Skills Solutions, Electrical Utilities and Public Administration Training Council, Multinet, TITAB Australia, and United Energy. And also our conference supporter, OzHab Foundation. Thank you for your attendance and your attention. Thank you.